I am a fiber artist. I work with wool and silk and uh, different natural fibers. I specialize in the large scale tapestries and wall hangings. I would like to say that I am an impressionist, uh, an artist that paints with wool. Um, and my style is an impressionist style. I see myself as a storyteller, yes. Uh, I would like to believe that every artwork that I make tells a story and conveys a feeling. Um, I'm not a storyteller with words, no. Um, I find it very hard to convey what I feel in words. But somehow, when I touch a fiber, when I start working with fibers, those stories come out of me much easier. And they seem to leave an emotion with people. And that's what I would like to do. I would like to give people an emotion they can take with them. When I was in Amsterdam and I had the privilege of seeing Van Gogh's exhibition, it was a very emotional time for me. Um, I could not explain, I could not say why I was emotional, but when I was looking at his paintings, they were taking me places. My imagination started to fly. That is what I would like my viewers to feel and see. I would like their imagination to take them to places where they are most happy, if that makes sense. I love working with natural materials. Uh, primarily I work with wool, with Australian wool. I work with merino wool and colored wool, naturally colored wool. I have a beautiful relationship with a local farmer um, and she's keeping rescue sheep. And all her sheep are gray and brown and black and they're absolutely beautiful. Um, and that gives me immense happiness to work with those fleeces, to have that knowledge that those sheep have been rescued. I also like to work with rare breeds of Australia and different breeds have different textures and that is quite special to work with so I can achieve different moods but the process is very ancient it's called felting that has been around for thousands of years primarily it was used to build homes, yurts, the first tents um, out of felt and um, it was also used as an insulator on the walls or on the floor as a carpet. But it is such a beautiful material. I mean, it, it, it breeds, it is fire resistant, it, it is so flexible, it is so soft. When you have it on your walls, it deals with any of the sound issues you might have in the home and it just makes the place peaceful. I also love working with silk. Uh, I primarily use piece silk, where the um, silkworm is left alive 
after the silk is harvested. Silk is such a beautiful material. It, it lifts everything up. It gives airiness to my work. And it has such a beautiful luster as well. It gives richness, I think, and it tells its own story. The idea of bringing a large piece of softness to an environment that it gets a lot of human traffic is very exciting to me. I love seeing how space actually changes when you put a piece of felt on the wall, the, the space gets calmer and people feel that. People get calmer too. So in large lobbies or hallways where there is noise issues, where there's a lot of people going through in public spaces, it just changes the environment. Everything changes when you soften the walls. Acoustics change, human behavior change. They actually stop and admire the environment they are in instead of just rushing through and, and thinking, right, let's get through this as soon as possible or as quick as possible and go home to a cozy place. I think it is very important to make public spaces comfortable, enjoyable, to give them soul, to give them home feeling. We spend very little time at home and a lot of time in offices and in public spaces that are not the most welcoming environments. So having something soft on the walls changes the environment, it is. One particular comment I have had from my exhibitions is that my pieces bring sense of calmness and I'm very happy about that. And that is exactly what I would like them to bring, a sense of calmness. That is how I feel when I work on my wall hangings. I feel calm, I am in a happy place. When I think about people who I admire or artists who I admire, I would think about Van Gogh, of course. Uh, Turner, love his work. I had the pleasure of seeing him in Canberra, here in Australia. It was amazing, it was amazing. I have always admired him for the way he has captured the light the space between near and far, the air, capturing the air, I think that is the most beautiful thing that artists can do. But if I have to think about modern painters, I like Brian Rutenberg. He is a New York painter lovely textures, very bright and colorful, opposite from what I do, but maybe that's why I like it. 
and he's very good at capturing Neranthar as well, and space in between. One interesting fact that I have noticed about myself and my work is that very often I would make a landscape and only after I made it I would see the landscape in real life. And I would have no idea where it came from. How did I know about that place? I find that fascinating myself. It is sort of like a songwriter that writes a lyric and it doesn't know what it is about until a couple of months later. All my colors in, in all of my wall hangings are completely natural. I'm not dyeing any of the wall. That's how it is in nature. And that's what I like about it. And it is very interesting actually to work with that limited palette. You can get a lot of nuances out of it and that's what makes it interesting to me. A little bit challenging, but having a limited palette, it actually broadens your possibilities. Wool as a material is very tactile material. Whenever people see it, they cannot resist the urge to touch it. And I, allowed that that's fine with me because there is something about when we touch this beautiful natural material something happens in our psyche something brings us home we're drawn to softness we are we were never made to live in a harsh environments even when you look at the early human beings, they weren't just living in the fields. They would always make little huts or caves and then they would decorate them with animal skins and, and things from nature. And all of their homes were rounded. Have you noticed that? They were all round. They were almost like womb-like. Beautiful. There were no straight angles. There were no big panes of glass and, and concrete and aluminium and plastic. It was all natural, it was all handmade, it was all very textured. And don't get me wrong, I love modern environments and I love um, modern architecture. I have a big respect for that because it takes a lot of discipline to create something very tasteful. But at the same time, I believe that modern architecture can go really nicely together with, with elements of natural, with elements from natural world. and they do complement each other. They enhance each other's qualities. My hangings look fabulous uh, against the big brick or concrete wall. I think that roughness and softness, the juxtaposition of those two elements, that excites me. <laughs> 